Freedom family. Welcome to my brand new show, the KYC Nullified. And my name is Noel, and on this show, we will be talking about YouTube's policies, and of course, we will be continuing on the success of The George Show, which is the KYC series. Are you excited? Of course you are. Let's go. I will be your guide when it comes to YouTube's rules and policies. And on this show, we will be including topics like copyright, nudity or sexual content, harmful or violent videos, and of course, a lot more. To start things off, Ayana, please drop my title. Welcome to the rule of thumb where in this segment, we'll be discussing about YouTube's rules and policies that will keep you away from the dark side and prepare you for your quest to become a successful YouTuber. In today's episode, we will be discussing what copyright is. And in order to do that, we ask YouTube what they understand about copyright. So here it is. In many countries, when a person creates an original work that is fixed in a physical medium, they automatically own copyright to the work. As a copyright owner, they have the exclusive right to use the work. Most of the time, only the copyright owner can say whether someone else has permission to use the work. If you think about it, this is kind of vague. So we ask Google what they understand about copyright. Here it is. Copyright is a legal right that grants the creator of an original work exclusive rights for its use and distribution. This is usually only for a limited time. The exclusive rights are not absolute but limited by limitations and exceptions to copyright law, including fair use. Now that sounds about right, but you gotta ask, what are these original works? We went back and asked YouTube. YouTube has given us examples that can be classified as an original work that is protected under the copyright law. So, let's take a look. These original works are audiovisual works such as TV shows, movies, and online videos, sound recordings and musical compositions, written works such as lectures, articles, books, and musical compositions, visual works such as paintings, posters, and advertisements, video games, and computer software, dramatic works such as plays and musicals. Basically, to break it down, your original works are protected by the copyright law, and as the copyright owner of that original work, you have the exclusive right to use it. If other people want to use your work, you can either allow them or reject them. Also, you can claim back your original work if other people are using it without your consent. You have the power. Now there are a few questions you are asking yourself right now. How can I use copyright content in my videos without violating this rule? Well, YouTube has stated that there are a few circumstances that do not infringe copyrighted content. One of which is if the content can be argued under fair use. And the other one is just by simply asking permission from the original content owner. That's it. We will be tackling fair use on a different episode because that is a whole other topic. So stay tuned every week for the KYC Nullified. Now, what if I put a disclaimer on my video stating that I do not own this content? Would that still be an infringement of the copyright law? Is there a magic word I can use so that I can use other people's content? To be completely honest, I wish there was a magic law that grants you full immunity. But the reality is, YouTube does not have those magic words. Let's take a look on what they have to say about it. Your videos can still be claimed by copyright owner, even if you have given credit to the copyright owner, refrain from monetizing the infringing video, notice similar videos that appear on YouTube, purchase the content on iTunes, a CD or DVD, recorded the content yourself from TV, a movie theater, or the radio, stated that no copyright infringement is intended. So to recap on what we have discussed, copyright is a legal right granted exclusively to the owner of an original work. These original works are, but are not limited to, audiovisual works, sound recordings or musical compositions, written works, visual works, computer games and computer softwares, and dramatic works. How can I use copyrighted material without infringement? You can simply ask permission from the original content owner Vocal permission is good, but it's better if you have a written documentation for it. A written documentation stating that you are allowed to use those videos comes in handy when those videos get flagged. And the other one is fair use. If you want to stay ahead of the competition and know what fair use is, the links will be down below. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from the rule of thumb because the next segment is Know Your Channel, The Nold Edition. This KYC edition will be reviewing channels that adheres or violates the policies that we have discussed on the rule of thumb. So, let's jump right in! Alright, our first channel is the Tuning Doze. What's up bro, I hope you're doing great. From the looks of your channel, it seems that you really really like cars and car shows. Great, so let's take a look into your videos. 
This footage is from a car show in Tokyo back in 2015. And as you can see in the video title, it says Tokyo Auto Salon 2015, featuring a really pretty lady. Safe to say this channel is a collective of car footages from different content creators. Let's take a look on a different video. In the video that we flashed, it is a compilation of pet owners filming their pets doing the play that trick. As we have discussed, copyright content can only be used by the original content creator. If you want to use other people's content, you can simply just ask permission from them or make sure that the content can be argued under fair use. In this case, if you have written documentation that you are allowed to use all of these content, awesome. But if not, these content cannot be argued under fair use. Why? Because these videos are basically re-uploads from other content creators. And you have a video stating that you have a compilation of pet owners filming their pets. I'm sorry tuning those, but I have to rate your channel as at risk. Okay, let's move on to our next partner, JJ McCullough. Hey bro, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong and I hope you're doing great. His channel is mostly about trivias and weird facts. So let's take a look into his videos. And puts his hand on the constitution or the Bible or both and recites the oath of This is an example of content that can be argued under fair use. He used a tiny portion of the copyrighted material and he mixed it with his own commentary. Let's take a look into another video. We have like MasterChef Canada and Big Brother Canada and they're both pretty popular, but nothing can compete with Amazing Race Canada. In this scene, or in the entire video, he was talking about the popular shows that Canadians love to watch. JJ McCullough, you did a good job in using these content as examples, mixing in your commentary, and relating these content into your own original video. I will say that this channel is nullified. If you want to get your channel reviewed, you can visit our Freedoms Forums page under the Community Review tab and post in your channel. Our Freedom Partners will be more than happy to assist you with that. And also, I will be there, so see you there. Also, you can go into our Discord server and get your channel reviewed by this guy, Jord. Alright guys, that concludes the episode. My name is Nold and you are watching KYC Noldified. See ya!